On page 13, Uluman's father says, do you see this rock? It was once jagged and full of sharp jutting points, but the water of the ocean slapped at it and slapped at it, carrying away all the angles and edges. Now it is nothing but a small pebble. That is what the outsiders will do to you when you go to school. What do you think he meant? Claire? The outsiders will shape you. The outsiders will shape you? Yeah? So you can write that down. What do you think he meant? So he meant the outsiders, outsiders will shape you. What else does he mean? What else do you think he means, Ashley? They can beat her up. Louder? They can beat her up. They might. Okay. They might beat her up. They might beat her up. What else do you think he meant? Page 13. Yeah, on page 13 of Fatty Legs, it says, do you see this rock? It was once jagged and full of sharp jutting points. But the water of the ocean slapped and slapped at it, carrying away all the angles and edges. Now it is nothing but a small pebble. That's what the outsiders will do to you at the school. What do you think he means? He what do you think he means? That the little girl will shape you? That they will change her? That they will change her? That she will be reduced? That she will be reduced to a fraction of herself? So that she will be reduced to a fraction of herself. Okay? So that's what it means. So go ahead and copy that down. He means the out. So if there was a rock that was like this, and then over time it turned like this. So he thinks that that will happen to her, that the outsiders will shape her. Ashley said they might beat her up. They will change her, that she will be reduced to a fraction of herself. So before she might have been really big personality and then maybe she might have a smaller personality. It's just inferring. Any other comments to make about that, Arjun? Maybe she has like a, a giant, um, a giant bear and like a giant bag of things from her culture, but then the bag got smaller and smaller, so then she has little. Okay, that's a great point. This could be all the things she has from her culture, and then over time, she loses her culture. She could lose her culture because she talked about going dog sledding and fishing and all sorts of things. Maybe those the culture will be less important to her. Maybe she'll have things taken away. It mean, mean all of those things. Maybe the <laughs> hey, let me lesson. copy that down for you since you're doing the video. That's definitely <laughs> not. So they will change her. Just so change her. Life. Lose her culture. Life? Well, no. the rock wasn't destroyed. Was the rock destroyed? Kind of. It kind of is destroyed. So it could destroy parts of it. So parts could be destroyed. And then parts could be destroyed. Uh, if not, uh, I heard that he was a dental school. Uh, Pardon? Many, I heard that uh, he was a dental school. So many lives were lost. Yes, some of the people died in residential school because they got sick, and they didn't have vaccine, like they didn't have cures for some of the sickness. So yes, that's a really good point. There were people that died in school because they were far away from a hospital. They couldn't get help. They couldn't go home to their parents, and they got sicknesses that we didn't have cures for them. Some tried to run away. Yes, some tried to run away. Arjun.
Right, like the European settlers brought alcohol and then the indigenous people took the alcohol and then they became addicted. But in the beginning, it was because the Europeans gave it to them. Yes, good point. Okay, so now I'd like you to turn the page to page number four. And yesterday, Alice, we're, we're saying hello to um, Elsa and Alice, Cindy, Howard, and Ewer. And when I asked you guys yesterday, if you were to describe yourself as something else, living or non-living, what would it be and why? Alice said she was a small fish in a school of fish because she feels that she's just moving along. Like in this classroom, it's kind of like a fishbowl. She's one fish among everyone, which is really interesting. And then you could draw that right here, or you could draw anything else that you like from chapter one while I'm reading. So if you were to describe yourself as something rock. else, living or non-living, what would it be and why? Uh, Henry. Uh, could we, like, when you're reading, could we just draw? Like, yes, like, while I'm so reading, you can draw, later? but first, I want you guys to write down, if you to, were to describe yourself as something else, living or non-living, like, he described his daughter as a rock. Uliman is a rock. Alice described herself as a fish. If you were to describe yourself as something living or non-living, what would it be and why? Can I see the earth? Yes. Write it down. You could describe yourself as the earth, Richie, because you have lots of resources. Um, you have many mysteries inside. Anything at all. So let's give some examples. You could be the sun. You could be... Nature. A piece of paper. You could be a plant. You could be a tree. How, J uh, Jaya? Nature, like anything to do with nature. Anything to do with nature, but it could be living or non-living. So everyone right now, I'd like you to take two minutes and write down, if you were to describe yourself as something else, what would it be and why? Okay. 